Hello. We are live. Um, it is like thundering out. My dog is freaking out, so hopefully she doesn't bark the whole time. But every time thunder happens, the dog barks. So just giving you a heads up. Be ready that she may bark. And hey, Sandy. Um, because it is thundering and storming out. Hey, Stacy. So I'm sure she's gonna bark in the background, and I apologize. I try to put her all these different places, but she's scared. So anyway, just a heads up. Yeah, like she's freaking out a bit, and like no matter where I put her, whatever room, crate, all that other stuff, she's crazy. Hey, Julie. So we are doing a little craft today. And um, it's going to just look like a little garden. And we're going to tell you our flash sales for the day. Um, because you know we've been having um, every day a, a different Fifth Avenue flower on sale. Um, and then a filler on sale as well. So, yeah. It stopped raining, I think, here. But the thunder is crazy. I'm just hoping to not lose my power. Because I have a lot of orders to pump out. But the dog is losing her mind. So just so you know, you might hear the dog in the background. So I'm gonna do this as fast as I can so she doesn't bother us. So um, let's start out with the sale. Hey Stacy, um, can you, um, I'm gonna give you the information. If you could pin it up and um, if one of you can pin it or something, um, or if I have to pin it, that's fine too. So our sale, our flower sale of the day, the two flowers um, that I'm using here, they're the same flower, they're just two different sizes. It's called the Abigail, and it's from the Fifth Avenue Collection. She's going to be 40% off again today. Hi, Karen. Um, so it's 40% off, and the code is Abby, A-B-I, 40. So it's the Abigail flower. The code is Abby, 40, A-B-I, 40, and um, it's in the Fifth Avenue Collection. She's the next flower we're going to talk about. And um, I've dyed her um, blush pink. Literally, it's called blush. Thanks, Jill. Um, the sale is from now, which is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, that's the flower that's going to be on flash sale. Only three hours from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, this is what she looks like. Hi, Alina. Okay. Like we said all the other times, 40% off, like, doesn't happen. So do it now if you want it. And then we're also going to be using um, the filler Heather. Um, I've already cut it up in pieces for the project's sake. And this has been discounted 30% off. Stacy, I can't pin you because you're very far away from me. So this is Heather. As you can see, there's, like, little pinky buds on it. Hi Gabby. Hi Maria. Okay, so Heather um, is like a very common filler. Erica, can you pin um, Stacy's post about the sale? Um, so Heather is pretty common for bouquets and such like that. It is a little bit more delicate, um, but it's discounted right now. And um, I just used it in a cascade. Um, I shared a picture of it um, with like a blush and a burgundy. It's so pretty. So let me show you again. It's pretty, it is delicate. You can't like be super rough with it. I have to tell myself to calm down sometimes with it because thank you. All right, so this is Heather. It's got green, it's got pink. Sometimes it's even a little more purplier. And um, yeah, so now we're going to make this cute little craft. Um, I got this, it's unfinished. Um, it's hangs. I just painted it white. I didn't paint the back, but you should paint the back. If you're ever selling something, make sure you finish the back. But I did not for time reasons. And I'm going to make a little garden out of um, the Abigail flower. And then these are called the Winter Rose. And I dyed them in that same color as I did um, the little angel yesterday, which this is called Sugar Beet. Okay, this is called the Winter Rose. That's also part of the Fifth Avenue. But the Abigail is the one that's on sale. Abby, 40 for the next three hours, that's till 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the Heather down um, as like the background greenery. And what I did um, is I took all different heights and sizes here 
and I'm going to glue it to look like, you know, plants in the background. Okay, I'm going to do one by one, but I'm just going to show you how I'm setting it up. So some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, and we're going to fill up the back of this. Okay, hey Shauna. All right, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to glue it here. So the Heather is 30% off. That's under filler. And the Abigail flower, um, which you need to use the coupon code, is Abby40. That's on a flash sale right now for the next three hours till 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, it's kind of like a delicate dahlia. It's really pretty. Um, but I'm just going to start gluing. I need a glue stick first. And I'm just going to lay it right down. And I'm just going to make the background for my little garden here. So I thought that was just something we could do while it's still summer. Everyone's moving into fall. And um, I'm not ready yet. Although fall is my favorite season for colors and for just the season. I don't really like it too hot. I would love to move out of this rainy season, whatever this is. Okay, so it's all different heights. Yeah, the Abbey is a really pretty flower. Um, this was the two sizes um, next to each other. So this was a one and a half inch and a two inch. Let me show you them again. And these were painted blush. Hi, Kim. All right, so I'm just building up my background here. Super duper simple. Again, this is the Heather. This is what's discounted today for filler. Um, I believe that the Caspia is still on sale and so is the Baby's Breath. But today the Heather is on sale as well. So we're just gonna, I'm just dropping a line of glue and then laying my greens down in there. So where did I get the fence? Um, I have to say like I don't know, Lynn. Um, I just buy stuff when I see it. So I'm sure one of the normal craft stores that I go to carried it. I've had it for a while. I have a bunch of stuff like in my inventory for home decor, if I ever get to home decor. I'm gonna show you what this looks like when I'm done. I'll hold it up. Okay, I'm gonna come from this side now. Uh, and meet in the middle so and if anyone has any questions about the sale going on right now um, which flower and which filler um, it's in the pinned post it's the Heather and um, the Abigail flower um, right now so okay so it's 40% off Abigail and it was 30% off the filler gonna fill this in here and again the Heather is a little delicate but it's so pretty and the, the blossoms pretty much stay on it's just these little like it looks like it's falling apart but like it's not really the blossoms are staying on it's just this little stuff on the in the in between thanks Erica all right so I'm just dropping these down I cut them you know different heights I want my center one to be my tallest. Okay, so I'm going to put that one down in the middle. Yeah, I mean like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen them like a hundred places, so I, I don't really know where I bought this one, but um, it was in my inventory of when you get time to ever do home decor, which will probably be never. So um, I'm just filling the background enough to look like a little garden. Let me get rid of all these webs. I'm gonna hold it up for you and show you what I got going on. Again, you, you don't have to have like a thousand hours to do projects for home decor. You can make something cute, something cheap, 
something that you can easily sell at like vendor sales and farmers markets and things like that. But this is the Heather set up like a little garden. I like it because it had um, the pink and the purpley tones in it, so that's why I dyed my flowers the colors. I had um, blush and I had sugar beet for that. So, all right, now I have this filler. Um, I used it the other day um, that matches my sugar beet color. You can use anything you want. You can use um, the star filler would be really cute for like a little wild garden. And this is just gonna bring in some more color for me. But um, there's a bunch of fillers that you can use that kind of look like little flowers on their own. Um, for sure the star filler. And if you're gonna do the star filler for like a project like this, get the bright colors too. That's why I liked this for like a little pop of color. Um, I just want to make sure I want it at the height that I want it at. So I want this one to be a little lower. I'm not going to use a ton because I do want my flowers to be, um, you know, the number one thing here on this. I was trying to see how many things there were to see if you can spell like spring or something, but there's only one, two, three, four, five. So you can put a five letter word across the top. Okay, so I'm gonna put this guy in here and then we're gonna make our flowers and put those down. And like, it was like a 15 minute project. Doesn't cost you anything really, almost. A couple flowers little sprig of the filler. It's not even like half the pack. It's like one eighth of the pack. But the filler, I mean, the Heather is really great for bouquets and things too, because it's um, like, although it's a little bit fragile when you put it in the bouquet, just the ends peek out, it kind of keeps it more stable. So let me show you. I feel like this guy needs to go over here. I actually wanted to use my star filler um, for this project, but I ran out because I used it. Used it already on everything. I used it like I used it on everything. So I already ran out. I need to find more bright colors. Um, I want to get the blue because a lot of wildflower um, bouquets um, are good with the star filler, like blues and purples and stuff, um, because they're little flowers and that's what always kind of like looks good for wild bouquets is the blues and the purple. So let me just show you what I got. Again, you could kind of use any filler you wanted. Um, I liked the Heather because it looks like, like a little field of wildflowers and then we're going to pop in our flowers that match it. So as you can see, it looks like kind of like a little garden um, and then we're going to add our flowers. So yes, Heather filler that I'm using is 30% off and the um, uh, Abigail flower, which are these two. Those are 40% off if you use the code Abby40. Okay, so what I'm doing actually is I'm using these stems from the actual Heather plant. I'm trying to get rid of my glue webs here, but it's not really working. Um, I'm making these stems for, that one's actually cut nice, for my flowers so that it looks real because I didn't want to have like a wire stem for that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm just trimming them to look nice. I know Crystal, isn't it cute? See, Crystal does vinyl. I could do something, a vinyl word on here. What's a five letter word? That looks good with garden. Garden has more than that. We gotta think of a five letter word that we could do on here. Cause that would be pretty. But I can't think of one right now. Okay. So I've got my fake stems here just so that they look like they're on something um, as opposed to, and um, I'm actually gonna use Um, 
as opposed to just floating bloom, B-L-O-O-M. That would be beautiful, Dawn. If you put bloom on here with vinyl. Sorry, Crystal, she beat you. Fence. Stacy, there's always one in the crowd. B-L-O-O-M would look really cute if you had the word bloom. Actually, I have, I have a stencil somewhere in my house. It just says bloom on it. Herbs, that could be that too. So anyway, you could get creative with that. So I'm going to do my um, Abigail flower and I want it to be the, the biggest one to be the tallest. So let me see which stick is tallest. Okay. I don't want it to be exactly in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my longest stick and I'm going to glue it down. I don't want it like directly in the center, especially with like a garden scene like this. I don't like it to be like evenly spaced like that. I don't like to do that. So I'm putting the stick down as the stem. Now the flowers, you know, sometimes they're at the back of them. Let me get the whip here. Um, sometimes the back of them have like that longer nub on them. So I'm going to cut it off. Don't go too low because you don't want it to untie gonna go somewhere. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue the back of the flower and I'm gonna put it down on my stem. You don't wanna push this, this flower down too hard um, because it is more delicate than like a regular, like a dahlia or something like that. Um, its edges are a little bit more fragile, so I'm not gonna like shove it down. Okay, I'm going to do the other one now. So that was the Abigail in two inches. This is the Abigail in one and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to get a smaller stick. Let's see. And it's okay that it's twisty. I kind of like it actually like that. I just want to see which direction to go. Okay. I don't pre-plan things. I know that a lot of people want to like measure it and do all that kind of stuff, see where it's going to end up. Um, I don't do really any planning ever. I just feel like I can create better if I don't have something set in my head. So I'm just going to hold it till it dries and then I'll put the top of that one on. So a few more people jumped on. Guys, our flash flower sale for the day for the Fifth Avenue connection. I wish I could say Fifth Flash Flower, Flower Flash Fifth Avenue sale. I'm sure we can get a lot of ask going, but anyway, it's the Abigail and the code is Abby40, A-B-I-40. And the filler that's on sale is Heather, which is 30% off. And then the Caspi on the Baby's Breath, I believe, is still on sale as well. So I'm just putting my stems, and I'm letting the stems, again, they're not perfectly straight, but I kind of like that. It's like the illusion of it being more real. Okay. So I have this just a little bit lower than the other one, and then my other flowers are going to come in a little shorter, okay? This is cute for like a little girl's room that has like a garden. You could do the same thing on like a mirror or an old window. An old window would be really cute if you like put it coming out of the little frame thing. Okay, now I'm gonna do my other one. So these are the winter roses. They're also a part of the Fifth Avenue collection, but the Abigail's the one that's on sale today. So these guys I wanna have shorter um, sticks here. So I'm gonna cut them shorter until I figure out which height I want it. I might want to do it like right next to this one. Okay, so I'm going to glue this stick down and then we're going to do our winter rose um, on the top there. Now, for the Abigail, it was really easy just to lay it on its back
but the winter rose is going to have to look a little bit on its side just because I think I like how it looks like that on the side like that. So I'm going to find the end of my stick. And you could add white in here, like um, I had like a faux baby's breath actually that had like kind of bigger blooms on it that was white to brighten it up a little bit, but I figured with the white in the back. Um, I'm gonna do another one that's sh shorter than my top because once I picked the height of my top one, I don't wanna go taller than that. Okay, so I'm gonna put one on that side then I gotta figure out where I want my last one. So these are the winter rows that I'm putting on now. That's also the Fifth Avenue collection. I love them both for things like corsages and such. I want it just a little bit shorter. I'm holding it till it dries. These are the kind of things that sell at farmer's markets and stuff because they're just a little different. It's not like everybody does a heart board, everyone does all that kind of stuff. Like these are just a little bit different. It's a good way to just be creative. Like if you can come up with stuff that you haven't, other people haven't done. I mean, not that nobody's never done this, but I mean, try to get creative in what you plan for those kind of things. I just bent the petal. Okay. And I think I want this one like nice and low, maybe next to it. I mean, I could keep going like with white flowers too. Not sure I want to, but I could. I could just keep going and never stop because that's usually what I do, so. Okay, I'm going to do this one lower. That hit my ceiling, but anyway. All right, let me make this one lower. And then tell me if we should add some white flowers. What do you guys think? Should I add some white? Or should I just leave it alone and stop touching it? Because that's what I like to do is touch things until I ruin them. No, I'm just joking. I don't ruin them. Does anyone have any questions about the flash flower sale? Yes, you think I should put white in it? Oh, I know what to put in it. Hold on. I just gotta find it in my house right here. It's surrounding me. I'm surrounded by flowers, so I know I can find it. Let me show you what I can use. Oh, I have my daisies. I mean my um sunflowers. You all said white, so let me hold this up first just to show you what we got going on here. Okay, and then I have these sunflowers left and we will keep them white. Now I need one up high. Can't have them all low. Okay, JK, I only can use two. We're gonna use the sunflowers because they're sitting right next to me. It's gonna hit somewhere. Okay, let me add these little guys in there. right off. This is why I use a glue rope because it lasts longer. Thanks Eileen. Does everyone understand which flowers are? These are all Fifth Avenue um, but the Abigail is the one that's on the sale. So that's Abby ABI 40 and that's 40% off just till 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 
get it now because it's not going to be 40% off for a long, long time. And then the filler um, is 30% off. It's Heather is what I used. Thanks, Karen. I feel like I'm going to burn myself on this one, but apparent. And like I said, I was going to use some star filler. I have yellow star filler, like a few little pieces left, but I don't think I wanted yellow in this, but, um, there's a lot of colors of star flower. I don't, I think only the yellow is sold out in the natural, if I'm correct. So there's the blues and the purples. I think there's a bunch of other colors of star flower. That would be perfect for something like this because you could have them all up and down, like in between the heather and everything. And that would be really, really super duper pretty. But I used mine, I got like so obsessed with all the fillers that I had that I like used them all in the day. I have just a few little of these guys left and that's like about what I got left of that. So let me let it dry before I lift it up. I wish I could freehand the word bloom, but I'm, I have really horrible handwriting actually. Um, so I can't do that for you because I would ruin it and then I couldn't do anything with it. So let me hold it up close for you. And again, you could go, I really feel like I want to add star flower, but do you think yellow would be okay? Have you done a red truck for Christmas? Yes. But Eileen, so here's the thing about things like the red truck for Christmas. I personally do not like to make anything that everybody is making. Like I just, it's something I just can't do. Like if I seen it, like I just can't do it. So we could add like little, hold on, let me see something. I just want to see something real fast guys. Um, so yeah, so the red truck, I'm sure it sells and everything like that, but I try to come up with just things in my head instead of following what everyone else is making. Should we put a leaf on it? Hold on guys. Look at this for a second. Just tell me your opinion. I can make it smaller too. So don't judge the size of it here. Should we put leaves on them? Say yes or no. Are we guessing the leaf or knowing the leaf? I'll wait until you all answer me. And then I think, because like, I kind of want to add them. Or this bright greenery. Well then, let me show you this one. All right, one leaf or like this or no leaf. All right, one leaf, this bright kind of greeny leaf. Or nothing. Let me put one on and then you can tell me what you think. But I feel like I like it. No? Yes? No. Oh no. No leaves. No. Okay. Taking it off. You're moving it. Just kidding. I didn't even come with that idea. Okay, then we're done. I was just thinking of ways to spend more time with you guys. Okay, so that was the Heather um, in the background. And then the Abigail flowers, which are um, the coupon code for that was Abby, A-B-I, 40 for 40% off the Abigail. Abigail? Abigail. Then these are winter roses from Fifth Avenue Collection, and then that's their new mini sunflowers. So, like, really this took a few minutes. And you can paint your fence. I was actually going to paint the fence turquoise. And then I thought to just go the classic route, but, um, because I have to give this to someone, I don't know what else to do with it. So I figured stick with white, but that would be, if you could do like a really bright background, the colors could really pop. I would get star filler. If you guys are buying filler or if you're buying flowers right now and you're going to do something like this, get the Heather because I like the Heather because it gives the garden look and it's on sale. So that's obviously. Um, I would get star filler in like blue and maybe purple um, for like wildflowers. 
of course get the Abigail because she's on 40% and then some other little Philly things and that would be so pretty because those colors would really pop. So get them while they're on sale. Do this project and then show me. Someone just made, oh yeah, someone just made the belt that I, um, the maternity belt that I made on a tutorial and um, finally showed a picture of something that someone else made. So we're looking forward to that. Um, we had the con contest going with the tulips and the baby's breath. So you can still buy those. Um, the baby's breath is still on discount. So we did that one. Was that yesterday? My days are blending in together right now. But um, the baby's breath and the tulip contest, that's do anything you want with the Fifth Avenue tulip. Um, but today the flower is the Abigail. And she's cute. Let me put closer to you. But I like the Heather as the background because it, you know, it reminded me of like, you know how when roses, like their greens go up, like kind of like Ivy, it reminded me of that. And then it looks like, like little buds. So I liked the Heather to get that look of like, what are those called? You know, the um, trellis, it looks like a trellis. The website won't load. Um, I feel like it's working because people are sending messages because it's popping up on my phone. So, um, are you on your phone, Sherry, or are you on your, on a computer? Because I know, well, that's Facebook, so maybe that wouldn't be that. Um, I can't tell you the problem with the website, but Sultan is on, so I'm sure he's looking it's working here again? Okay. So, Sherry, maybe just like go out of whatever browser you're using and go back in. You did L-U-V love. Okay, just joking. She's joking. <laughs> We're joking. Make sure you spell it right. Lovesoulflowers.com. It's L-U-V, Sola, S-O-L-A, flowers.com. Okay. And then, um, we're gonna, um, Talk about the contest more like another time um, through a post, but get the Abigail now while she's on discount and the Heather, especially if you have a wedding that needs blush, because if you look at the Heather, it definitely has blush tones because this flower right here is actually painted in the bare blush, the one that's the Abigail, and you can see that the colors in the Heather are so pretty with that, even with that bright pink next to it. So, again, you have to be a little bit more like delicate with it, but like it sheds these little things. I don't know, look, it's not the actual buds that are shed shedding. It sheds, but it's not the buds that are coming off. So like those are staying on it's like this weird other stuff that comes off of it. So don't worry, even though you see the shedding of it and it could be a little, I mean, my house is a mess anyway, so we don't care, but um, the actual buds stay on um, in general. So you could put this even on your door as like, um, kind of like in spot of a wreath, like for spring and summer. I might go switch out my fall one and put this on my door. And if I clear coat it, it's gonna hold my Heather together better, so. I might go ahead and spray coat this one. And I have, um, remember that fall wreath I made with the three little wreaths? I have that on my door. I think I'm gonna exchange it for this little summer thing. So anyway, does anyone have any questions? You could do this again on anything. Get those like windows. You know how people get old windows? You could make it look like there's a garden. Shadow boxes. This would be perfect for a shadow box. If anyone likes to do shadow boxes, you put the Heather in the back. Whatever filler, I would do, again, the star filler in all the bright colors. And then um, all the little flowers. That would be really... And you can do minis. Did any of you get the um, mini assortments, the Fifth Avenue mini assortments? That would be perfect for this. There's so many things you can do to make it look like a garden. I happen to have this on hand, this fence, so it made sense to me. But there's, like like I said, like shadow boxes, um, windows, all those kind of things would be fun to do, too. So does anyone have any questions about the sales? or about the craft, Abby 40 till 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
which is a couple more hours. Um, and then the Heather 30% off, Baby's Breath and Caspia is off as well. Um, but I liked the Heather for this look. So if you're going to make a garden like this, definitely grab the Heather for that because it looks like it has little buds on it. Okay. Questions? No? No one has any more questions? That's good. Sounds good to me. Okay, everyone, happy shopping. And um, we will see you tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I will see you at some point tomorrow.